So these are descriptions of where these organisms get their carbon from, specifically their organic carbon, the carbon that makes up their bodies. It makes up proteins, makes up carbohydrates, makes up fats, what have you. The autotrophs are the carbon fixers. These are the organisms that get their carbon from carbon dioxide. So these are the plants. These are the cyanobacteria, um, algae. But they're also actually bacteria that are autotrophs without being photosynthetic. Those would be the so-called chemoautotrophs. But most of the autotrophs are photoautotrophs. By contrast are the, are the heterotrophs. The heter heterotrophs obtain their carbon from the molecules associated with other organisms. And ecologically, the way this works is that the autotrophs bring the organic carbon, the organic molecules, into the system. And then the heterotrophs make their living by consuming those molecules. Now, they're consuming those molecules either because they've been given those molecules. That would be a mutualistic interaction. Uh, because they're taking those molecules. That would be, for example, a predatory interaction. Or instead, because they are utilizing those molecules when those molecules are no longer needed by whatever organism previously owned or, or, or consisted of those molecules. And these would be, for example, the decomposers. <clears throat> 